seeking dry needling have concerns such as is dry needling the same as acupuncture is dry needling safe and what are the requirements in order to learn dry needling to get some insight into this controversial subject today I have invited professor Jin honorary professor of Guangzhou University of Chinese Medicine honorary clinical specialist of Beijing University of Chinese Medicine, who has published 25 books and more than 150 papers, here to talk about dry needling and acupuncture. Welcome. Hello, I'm Dr. Jin. I'm a medical acupuncturist and have been practicing acupuncture over 50 years, including 28 years in USA. I was also professor of physiology and the neurologist in China. Many Western medical acupuncturists and the physical therapists may have read my book, Contemporary Medical Acupuncture, published by Springer Press and Higher Education Press China in 2007. Dr. Jin, in today's segment, I would like to ask several questions that are being debated between acupuncturists and physical therapists. The first question is, why do acupuncturists say that dry needling is a style of acupuncture? In 2016, we have published a paper in World Journal of Acupuncture. The title is Dry Needling, a Demolating Style of Acupuncture. Our point is based on the following reasons. First, the needles and the needling techniques used in dry needling and acupuncture are one in the same. Secondly, trigger points are stimulating target point of dry needling. They are just acupoints or ashi points coined in ancient China. Thirdly, local twitch responses, LTR, induced by dry needling on Trigger points is one of the qi phenomena by acupuncture, which could be seen or felt like that bat eaten by fish. Fourthly, the mechanism of dry needling and acupuncture are one in the same. The following diagrams are suitable to both dry needling and acupuncture. Here, let's review the definition of acupuncture by World Health Organization WHO and by National Institute of Health NIH. Based on the above reasons and the definition of acupuncture, dry needling is a style contemporary acupuncture 
which can be referred as trigger point acupuncture or by medical acupuncture. Very interesting. You have convinced me that dry needling is indeed a style of acupuncture. Moving on to the next question. Recently, the proponents and educators of dry needling have claimed that dry needling is not a style of acupuncture because it doesn't use the meridian theory of traditional Chinese medicine. Instead, they say they use the trigger points theory. Dr. Jin, what are your views on this? There are certain logic flaws here. First, I think this is some people trying to bypass regulation of acupuncture in some states of the United States. My colleague, Dr. Fan and others have published an article to provide evidence to prove that issue. Here, I will only analyze the logic flaws. Although dry needling does not use meridian theory of TCM to guide its clinical application, which is called demolidin. It does not mean de-acupuncture. Modalities derive from but different from acupuncture. As I have addressed above, the essence of dry needling is treating illness using acupuncture needles and techniques based on the same mechanism of acupuncture. According to the clear definition of acupuncture by WHO or NIH, dry needling belongs to acupuncture. Remember that various styles of acupuncture can be guided by different series of acupuncture, classical or modern. That does not change their name, acupuncture. Giving an example, since the 1970s, I have proposed a contemporary approach of acupuncture called acureflex point acupuncture that is also based on Western neuroanatomy and I have been using trigger points as one of acureflex points for stimulation. But, Acureflex point acupuncture is still acupuncture. So, any style of needling techniques based on Western neuroanatomy, such as dry needling, are not equivalent to the acupuncture. Dr. Jin, I've heard that physical therapists only receive a limited amount of training while not applying the meridian theory. So, may I ask, why is it that dry needling still produces a good pain management result? This is easy to answer because dry needling is a style of acupuncture. Acupuncture works for pain. Due to the simplicity of the learning acupuncture and its rare side effects, in ancient China, even many Chinese lab people, such as some barbers, could practice acupuncture with a good results, though they also lacked sufficient training of acupuncture. I have mentioned that demolidin is not equivalent to de-acupuncture. Dry needling as a demolidin style of acupuncture, it is understandable to have sudden results for my facial pain. Recently, studies have shown there's been a sharp increased trend of physical therapists practicing dry needling across various states. What do you think about that, Dr. Jin? I believe there are the following reasons. First, when dry needling is applied by physical service as a style of acupuncture, it will blot their therapeutic means in the clinic, especially for pain relief even though acupuncture does not belong to the physical therapist professional scalp. Second, dry needling training of less than 50 hours are welcomed by non-acupuncturists 
to save time or cost of learning acupuncture. Besides that, dry needling has bypassed acupuncture regulation in southern states of USA. So, the critical issue here is that any physical therapist who would like to practice acupuncture or dry needling must first receive sufficient training of acupuncture and to obtain acupuncture license. Dr. Jin, it has been reported that there are certain severe needling accidents that have occurred when dry needling was used. Is dry needling by physical therapists perhaps risky? Yes, I saw the same reports. This is surely a safety concern that need to be addressed. One of the causes is that current training required for dry needling practitioners is much less than that for acupuncturists. So non-acupuncturist dry needling practitioners often lack necessary skills to avoid needling accidents. In recent years, it seems that more patients first try dry needling then return to acupuncture after finding unsatisfactory results. What's this all about, Dr. Jin? Yeah, I have the same finding in my clinic. In recent years, some of my new patients come to my clinic, complain they waste money or time to see physical service for dry needling without good results. Why is that? I think may have the following reasons. First, the indication of dry needling are only limited to my facial pains, while acupuncture has a broader indication. Second, dry needling practitioners know only trigger points instead of all acupoints. Many other acupoints on the body surface besides trigger points can be used to treat my facial pains. Third, the most important is that acupuncture, including dry needling, is a brand of art and science that requires the practitioners to have more medical knowledge, such as physiology, pathology, holistic diagnostics, therapeutics, needling technique, much more than trigger points. Comparing to acupuncturists, requiring more than 2,000 hours of training. Even medical acupuncturists who are MDs need 300 hours. Dry needling practitioners with only 50 hours often lack necessary skills to attain optimal efficacy through holistic considerations. That's huge difference. Dr. Jin, as we are at the end of today's interview, would you please give the audience some of your expertise about dry needling? My advice as following. For patients, be aware of the risks of dry needling by non-acupuncturists and do not seek acupuncture from dry needling practitioners without acupuncture license and training. For physical therapists who are currently practicing or going to practice dry needling, it is essential to receive sufficient trainings of acupuncture to get acupuncture license. For dry needling educators, be aware that the general public safety is number one important. Do not sacrifice patient's safety for your gain. For lawmakers, keep in mind that dry needling is just acupuncture. Thank you, Dr. Jin, and this concludes part one, everyone. Remember, as the expert says, dry needling is a style of acupuncture. Stay tuned for our next part, and see you next time. Thank you, Bonnie. Thank you, everybody.